okay so now you click down that link what next once you select your country name next you need to select checkbox so id equals to checkbox 2 i think this will uniquely identify so that you can use hash again cy dot get dot click so that hits on checkbox and now it's time to select purchase okay for purchase let's write customized css with type attribute you know that you can also define css with type attribute so let me cross check where is our cypress i think that window got closed let me open that again test 8 framework.js it will run in the execution mode that's fine but we need to reach last page to write locators right so to reach that last page you have to run your test again to till that point okay nice so click on the checkout button and here if you want to click on purchase button instead of writing this CSS let's write the customized one by looking at the properties just an example for you to get hands-on on that input is a tag name type is attribute and the value is submit look at here purchase button is getting highlighted so that means the CSS is valid now copy the CSS and you can bring it to your test dot click and then you need to validate whether this message is coming or not that's your final check so get that CSS from here and then put an assertion alright nice so this is our locator to get the text out of it then you can simply say should have text dot should have dot text and the actual text you can get it from here okay that's it so we have completed end-to-end -end working on this test by selecting the option from drop down selecting the checkbox clicking on the button and we are grabbing the text to see if it is successfully submitted or not okay and also at the same time you understood how to set this configurations so let's run this test and while executing you will see one word error at checkbox so let that run and fail so that i will explain you why it's failing and from the logs what cypress gave us we will try to understand the exact issue okay so this is where you will feel the difference between cypress and selenium that if something got failed selenium just tells you that element cannot be found but you really don't know what's the reason why selenium could not find the element if it's already present on the page look at here now it could not click on the checkbox what did we give we have given everything correct checkbox 2 is our id right and look at here checkbox 2 is our id and it's highlighting checkbox correctly then why this is failing if the same issue is with selenium we will bang our heads to understand that but with cypress if you have such error and look at the logs it's saying that i'm trying to click 
because this element is being covered by another element okay there were clear locks that in selenium you will get error saying element not interactable that was the message you get in selenium but you don't have clue that why it is not interactable and how to fix it but in cypress they were clearly telling that when i try to click i got another element top over it which made this to non click okay and they are also giving a suggestion to fix this problem use force true to disable that um being covered element checking see how simple it is so you can simply pass this argument if you think that this is overlapping with another object on your page which you will not find in any other automation tool so you can forcibly click it even if it is not in interactable mode as cypress directly interact with browser it can manipulate dom and make that click okay if you don't want to do that then change the locator and write the proper one which clicks it without taking risk of the force clicking but let me do this so that most of the times when you deal with modern world apis sorry modern world websites you will see all this covered by another element errors because they were so dynamic and each element comes over another element to give the uh, proper user interface so you may encounter this error very frequently so this is how you can fix it make sure you give this attribute and this will take care now save your project but you got an error at the end saying that there was something different in the way you have grabbing the text so just see whatever you are missing by looking at the logs so but the text was you have some gaps here look at this it's expecting you to write this message timed out expecting to have this message but whatever text it grabbed have some extra words what to do all these are real time scenarios okay so cypress grabbed the text but when it grabbed the text it have some extra keywords which is not part of your exact text so at that time you have to use regular expression called includes okay so let's modify now if you think that exact match could not be found because of some additional characters so basically comment out this step so all these steps are intentionally written by me so that you will understand from the mistakes and you will also know how to troubleshoot if you come across errors like um element cannot be interactable or if there are extra characters in your text so you will get that alert again but this time you will grab that text and apply regular expression on it we have already done similar kind of example i guess in one of the lecture let me remind you by showing that or did we do or not yeah look at this we got the text on the text we were using includes method as a regular expression to check whether success keyword is present in our text or not instead of comparing whole text you can simply compare if sub text is present in that right to confirm as it is having some more characters you cannot compare apple to apple in this case so just verify if the keyword success is present in your text grab from your application the same scenario i am trying to do it here but you all know that i cannot simply um what is this dot t why did it come here i can i use like this no because this is not a cypress command as i already told you multiple times the text method prop method to get the property all these are not cypress commands then they are jquery methods so to act upon them you need to resolve the promise catch this object into an element and then act upon this element by saying dot text and take this text variable into actual text okay 
and now apply if if actual text start includes success I just want to verify if this message is present so I will copy the word correctly so that there are no spelling mistakes all right if it matches then you can actually put an assertion to pass so if you want to put any assertion to make it true write an assertion so that the value whatever it returns matches true instead of if block okay so here we need to compare and fail the test if actual test is not having success keyword right so for that there is an assertion in chai let me show you that expect chai cypress yeah go to their official documentation and here they have given all the possible assertions which you can use with cypress so we are interested in this assertion now so basically if it includes in that it will return true right so instead of writing this statement in if block i will simply use an assertion here expect this obviously returns true if there is a success message and i am verifying whether this returns true or not okay look at here expect the argument whatever you are getting is true or not to verify that if there is no success in this text then this test case will fail so the same assertion what we did earlier with have dot text is now achievable in this way with partial text comparison i hope you now you understood the point here so every time when you grab actual text there could be spaces in your browser when you grab it so you may not need correctly compare that at that time you have to resolve the promise grab the text of jquery method and then use expect to be true assertion on that specific statement this is alternate way to validate if you could not find this direct comparison okay so that's the reason i specifically took this example and inserted some spaces so that you can understand how to deal with this if there are extra elements in your text all right guys so i hope we have fixed all the issues there are two issues we faced when we try to automate this and we fixed them with the help of cypress logs save your project now and this time i think we should go through without any issues let's see all right it's trying to find the india option perfect you see that expected true to be true so earlier it failed but this time it passed because we are using with success keyword okay so this is how you need to debug and fix your issues with cypress all right so in the next lecture let's continue our discussion thank you